Blossom is just Veil into Blink in this game. Good shards. Yeah, tag team is there. Nice Using spear. the shards against him with that spear. Toronto Tokyo is dead. That's first blood for Amar. We we'll see a smoke here. GPK doesn't have a ton of mana to work with at the it's moment. Not easy, I think, to kill Amar. Like, Mars is really good at protecting himself against ranged heroes. He is holding a skill point. Don't worry about it, guys. He did not skill stats, <laughs> which you cannot. So he has the, you know, arena at any time if they want to go on him. GPK will try. He's coming with the TP. Yeah, Mystic Snake is there. GPK gets a nice shackle nope, shot. They got him. Well, the point didn't matter either way. Didn't yep. have time to use anything. So great pick off for GPK and company. That was GP the damage rune there. Well, GPK seems to be on the mark so far. Both runes leading into kills. Yeah, Miero though, taking a lot of magic damage. Malarine came up here as well with that coil. Hoofstar oh. is there into the double edge, into the stampede. He takes out Malarine first. That is not what Falcons expected. Miero obviously dies, but Toronto Tokyo finds a support on the back of it. Do you need to itemize against the Blink Hex at some point for the puck, you think? Mm, I don't know if you can. You can go some Lincolns, but that's not great. Okay, no. Skeeter gets yeah, caught off. fire initiation. Tombstone on the high ground. Snake King and Mallory kind of an awkward spot. Looks like Skeeter's just going to die straight up. There'll be a trade for the Lion. That's a good one for one. Snowball coming in. CM ult in the high ground doing a lot of damage. Miero cannot get out. Toronto Tokyo in his flesh golem form finishes the job. Two for two now. Looks like crit will be the third for Falcons to fall. <laughs> Yeah, Miero, initiation, onto the very tanky boy. Crick gets the nice snowball save, though, into the arena. And the punch on Toronto Tokyo, but the finger comes out. Amar very low outside the arena will fall. Crit looks to be potentially next, but a big coil comes out. And you can see the rotation from Nightfall getting that stone, stone gaze, gaze off. Absolutely destroying a the CM, but three Maureen. dead for Bet Boom. As Malreen looking to continue the job here. Triple kill for Toronto Tokyo <laughs> in turn. As Skeeter getting chased by Nightfall, he's just going to shrug it off with that Dragon's Blood. It might have been the Skeeter, gets off the Dragon Tail. Do they have the damage oh, they have to the rip through this? The nice, beautiful initiation from the Centaur into the double Impale. Snake King dead. Malreen as well, and somehow Nightfall survives. Oh, already used the Stampede, it looks like. Gets off the Hoof Stomp. Amar continue to try to kill off Toronto they Tokyo, can't. but another Soul Rip coming through. <laughs> just and now still. Amar is likely the one to fall. High fives ensue as they know that they will lose their Mars, and they lose Snake King as well on the top of that. So another punch into the air, snowball save, but Crit and company, they finally will have oh! enough. No, another soul rip coming through. Yes, another one. Toronto Tokyo is alive. Crit finally drops. Can they do the get the undying in the end. Dim, 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 and Malreen picks up the gem, will be able to get away with it in all likelihood. And now Nightfall trying to pick off this lowly Crystal Maiden. Oh, they got a Mar too. They get a Mar on the sidelines, so they get a little bit of value out of this, but of course that gem dropping is a pretty big deal. Gem dropping is a bit, it will depend a little bit on like the next 30 seconds on the map, like what does truly happen. I do think, I always like, it's going to help you furthermore play the map. Ooh, okay. Wipenir from GPK, finding Snaking, meanwhile Good the find. stop onto a bar, and that is going to be a really easy cleanup onto both. Good ward. I really like this, like sometimes when the enemy team is split pushing you, you don't... They're starting to I get mean, low. This one dies quickly, my bros. Yeah, tag team really doing work. They're going to try to bring some illusions over, but I think it's going to be too late as Miero goes on top of the CM. Snake King will die for his team, and Aegis is taken by Malarine. There's a kick out. The <laughs> banner is taken banner. by Nightfall. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about that one, apparently. Stone Gaze a little bit too late. Crit. Oh, he That's was spotted. That's a long TP, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a really long one. The zombie found him, it looked like. <laughs> and he's taken out as a third stack of double edge for Miera. So they get a cup here. It gets rid of his arcane yeah. boots. I would say if you're Bed Boom, I like this blink. I think Nightfall has very, very good itemization. I'm not sure if there's, if anything could have been different. Maybe he could have skipped the Scotty because I feel like they're not really fighting you. But even then, his items so far are very good. I think with this blink, maybe you could look to overpower the Falcon's draft like in the team fight. Like you get some blink hex or blink stomp initiation and you instantly follow with like a stone gaze on the Medusa just to make sure this one guy dies. Mm -hmm. I mean, Malreen is getting incredibly fat. I have not talked about him a lot the last minute, but he's about to get 25. He has Aghanim Scepter, he has Mindbreaker, and he's about to finish an MKB. He could threaten to solo kill GPK later down the line yep, for with sure. a coil plus gem. Oh, they're gonna steal a Tormi as well. That'll go to Mars. So the spear will hit two people and I've read a lot flames. of 
I've seen numerous Reddit threads about the spear. There is something bugged with the interaction. Oh, so that's hopefully good to know. something is semi fixed. What is it? What's bugged? That sometimes when you spear two people, like only one gets stunned or only one goes with the spear. It's so it's like you don't have a shard. Yeah. Case. Well, like. Well, good thing it was free. Or like both go with it, but the moment one guy gets stunned, the other one breaks free. Like, it's, it's very, very strange. Oh, uh, I ooh. see. Oh, Nightfall, Nightfall. gets off the blank. Crit. Beyond this, does proc actually puts oh, down his eye charge as well. Crit is getting gone on, but there's the Mars Arena to try and protect him. GPK finishes him off with the focus fire. He's going to take a dragon to the face. Miero comes good with stomp. a big hoof stomp onto two. Nightfall with the stone gaze now continuing to right click on this very narrow path. This is horrible for Falcons as Skeeter gets dropped as well. That is four for nothing. That was like watching 300 for God's sake. <laughs> good <laughs> lord. They literally just all died in such quick fashion. It didn't even look that bad because they kicked the guy back, but Miero had a beautiful stomp. I think Nightfall just being able to get all those clicks out again with a very good item build on the Medusa. If he doesn't blink out there in the start and gets kicked in, that fight is to crit, but there's the Eon this to proc. He's still getting controlled though. Pops the Ghost Scepter, Nightfall jumping in, gets off the stone there's gaze. The kickback. Another kickback, crit will die though. Miero pops the BKB, coil onto a couple of heroes, but I don't know how much that's going to be doing. Is GPG getting a little <laughs> bit low? He can go for this building though, as Nightfall and company. Actually, the backdoor protection is there. GP who? <laughs> <laughs> and Nightfall, no comment. Okay. I mean, that was very nice. half mana, but again, oh, has the Aegis for three oh. minutes. Hoofstop is there. Deletion okay, he has of buyback. Snake King. They just don't have enough damage. Spear. Nightfall. That's who they want to focus on, but again, he's not still that damage. Aegis and is still dead. Still with that second life, though, as Miero is unkillable. He has 5,000 HP. Mars getting gone on, tries to initiate, but the instant Hex into stun. Down goes Amar. He's going to be able to buy back in the game, though, as Skeeter. Look at this tombstone. So much slow. So much HP for Toronto, Tokyo. Look at this Aghanim Scepter. They find save, so finally a kill for Falcons. But he's just going to buy back in the game now. Zamar popping the BKB, but GPK. Will be taken out by Malreen on the sideline. He's going to instantly buy back. They're going to try to finish this game now. Nightfall has to stone gaze. This is his second life. So actually could potentially die here if they're able to find a kick or something like that. Malreen. Maybe they just want to leave nuisance. Nightfall low. I mean, it's not super easy to chase. Let's see. Miro. Yeah, there's the save initiation. Can they get the puck oh, again? Nice Double impale again. again. The Ravage, basically. Skeeter focusing on Toronto Tokyo. They'll get him. Crit again the Eon Disc Prox. He can get shackled. GPK gets off the Glyph. You know, this is going to be the dieback of Crit. The double edge just rips him a new one. They get Skeeter as well. And now it's a five versus three with no buybacks to come. They call it. They call the GG. Snake King, one more death for the road. And Bet Boom take game number one. Are, I, on, maybe I was overestimating how Falcons could fight back in this game. But I think that Bet Boom had really nice positioning and. Look at how many health salves were just purchased. This is why the starting items matter so much as Crit is, they got it. Okay, Crit with the first blood onto Nightfall. Too greedy. Yeah. It will be traded. Yeah, I was gonna, you know, commend. We'll stack for him, Toronto, Tokyo. They do know about it, and he is yeah, very GPK. deep. Okay, he's coming to help out. No Ravage yet for Amar. Nightfall's coming to the party as well. Whirling Axe is there. This should be an eventual kill. Only question is who will grab it, and it is Nightfall. Very good pickoff for Bet Boom. Meanwhile, Coil, first one of the game, I do believe, onto the techies right now. He's triple teamed, and the opposing carry will mm -hmm. get the kill. Okay, good move from Falcons, because I think so far what Bet Boom have done on the map is very impressive. I love the wards they have. One to protect the troll top, one in the jungle. Like S double plus? S double plus warding. Oh. oh, GPK with initiation gets the Avatar. Oh, the blast off actually a little bit disconnected there because of the impale. Malreen's but Malreen oh, is still dead in the end. A nice pick off for Bet Boom. Can it continue? Uh, you can see the see freezing kill from snaking onto the low ground. Toronto Tokyo trying to get Ravage. to the other side of the cliff. Looks like he might get away. One more right click from the Weaver. Skeeter finds the vision and finishes the job. Amar in the meantime will be bursted down. So no Ravage coming out for him. As Nightfall gets okay. fingered by Crit. That's a big finger indeed, as Crit will likely fall in return. But the Avatars are going to oh find the Weaver on top of this. So Skeeter, a little bit too aggressive. It's a full team wipe at 14 minutes. And Crit, oh, he's actually going to stay alive. Gets the oh finger God, in lives. the Impale. Ravage. Toronto Tokyo is dead. Ravage finally comes out from Amar. Down goes GPK, and it looks like save is going to be next. Gets off the blast off. 
Do they have the catch? They actually do not. So they got to be, oh, he actually is diving uh, for the kill in the base, and it. Skeeter does get it. Yeah. True that. Pop him in K. Uh, another toss back. He has Ravage. Oh, he didn't fully He's toss back. He's faking it. Yeah, Gleipnir's there, and now Mark can just reset. The BKB forced for Miero, so already Bepum getting the worst of this exchange. Sentry spotting GPK. Another He's gonna be BKB anchored. Forced. He's going to try to run off the anchor, but the anchor is still dragging on the ground. It's very heavy. Batrider drops to the deck, save is next, and Bet Boom. Yeah, they just keep running into Amar, and they don't realize, apparently, that he is unkillable. Unless they buy a... Oh! oh! <laughs> Amar, as I say that! Caster curse! <laughs> Boom. You can see Roche is up now. No <laughs> Lion for 40. They just replaced the ward that they just lost. And Nightfall will try to solo it. This is fighting for the ages, and of course, the banner. Very Vip. important. Could change the entire game. Now the creeps might be slightly stronger as a result of this Roche kill. Smoke from the likes of Falcons. Illusion Orb already used, but on the opposite Roche side, is low, yeah, Roche it? is getting quite low. They should be able to get it. And it looks like that's gonna be the case. Save just keeping them busy for now. And Nightfall will get the Aegis. Sable will sacrifice himself, so no supports from either side. Avalanche on the entire team from GPK. He wants to fight. He kills off the CM. Will TP out in the midst of things. <laughs> and snapping the coil is Toronto Tokyo, so he will be the trade as well. But overall, based on how this game is going, that is very good for Bet Boom. That's super good for a Boombox squad. The fact that we've seen, we're seeing this way too much. One team is down, somehow they get Aegis. But they're just outplaying Falcons on... This is a reverse of the oh, time that they threw. That is true. Yeah. They're, they're, they learned. It's pretty good. It is good. It's, Save better, it's is better than Tentacle Surprise. That is true. Mini Ravage. No, that was Impale, number three. Mini Impale. There were three Amar, Impales careful. In many Mines. Yeah, many a Mines indeed. Avatar, oh, maybe not on the same page, but they are able to take out Snake King to start things out. Ravage is going to connect on the three. Finger of Death deletes Miero. Now a mine, lot of mine, these mine, mines. Mine, mine. Oh, that is quite a bit of damage. Has to use time lapse actually. It's a pretty big spell to use here. Is Bet Boom now on the retreat? A lot of mines in the trees to cover their exit. Save actually doing such a good I job mean, on techies this save game. Save is like literally saving the game. Like this could have turned into a way worse fight. Same as like earlier when they did go up to the high ground. Can anyone buy a Manton Radiant and just like walk in illusions? Yeah, I mean, Weave. I, I don't know if you want to buy it on Weaver this late. Yeah, probably not. It's no a meme. Rain. If the game goes very long, no coil yet. Another but the kill Parasma. onto Toronto, Tokyo. The Parasma really destroys him. That damage is ridiculous. Also, Psychic Headband with Parasma should be pretty good. You get like 15% more int, which means more damage on your Parasma. Oh, Parasma. Yes. <laughs> You're trolling, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure. For once, I'm trolling. Oh, clip flop, flippity flip flop, no mana. Yep, save. You are donezo, my friend. Ancient Guardian, okay. So GPK getting an extra 100 damage if he's close to an Ancient. That's good for Tree That is volley. pretty big, because I think they're going to be around the Ancient for a while. Yes, I think so. Lincoln's next on Skeeter, does make sense. You need it against this bad rider. Because even the one fight earlier, he barely got off the pike. I think there's a lot of kill potential on him. So the Lincolns will nullify it. Five versus four. That boom have to go back to the high ground defense. Satanic? Hmm. Yep, he'll have it soon. Oh, maybe not. He's going to get coiled. We'll break it. Or he'd have HP damage. just like that. Pops the BKB. Trying to run away with his life. We'll have to use the ult, but he's just going to be aggroed onto the enemy. Ravage. Ravage comes out. It's not quite enough damage, but he does die on the high ground. That was close, and I think that might actually do it because there's no buybacks on these three members woo, of Bedboom. Minesweeper! Minesweeper for Malreen. Takes quite a bit of damage. Still backdoor protected, but 90 seconds without Nightfall. How do you defend this? Yeah, I'm not sure. You, you, they have to play around the mines in mid. Somehow with some mines, tree volley. The wave is down bottom. Crit did shove it in, so no more backdoor. Yeah, so one lane now officially for Falcons. I mean, Malreen also has the... 25 talent now, where Coil breaks through BKB. Very annoying. Oh, Impale. Finding GPK. There's the anchor. Yeah, the anchor applied to him. He cannot move. Very heavy. Tree volley. Being dodged thanks to the Yules. And his use is... He's outlived his usefulness. Finger of Death destroys him. Save is next on the list. And Falcons looking to clean up this game number two and send us to a game three. 
As GG's are called, this is indeed a three-game series as expected. Yeah, I wouldn't really expect anything different from, I think, from these two teams at this stage as well. We are in the upper bracket finals. Of course, these teams are very good at adapting. But I would say that Falcons did very nicely, both in the gameplay. But yeah, he continuing, got and he has the range of inner fire. That looked like the easiest kill of the tournament. Honestly, Actually, did it, it before the fairy fire it, came it out. It probably right? was because yeah, you don't lane against Huskar every day. Like you can say, "Haha, lol, GBK is so bad," but that was a max range inner fire. I do think travels would be nice just to like move faster around the map because all Beppin will do is look to split. Oh, GPK. GPK, Avalanche, wow. toss back into the Shackles, down he goes again. My goodness, it's this is a shellacking. That's literally the only way GPK can die. If Crit finds an angle out of fog into a toss back to Rasta, mm -hmm. so very nicely done. GPK, do they have the damage? Well, Amar certainly does. Take save to the grave along with that horse of his. Uh -huh. He's killing them in a 1v2 and forcing him away. Yeah. Three level advantage here, that's what that does. Yeah. GPK, gonna be forced to use all his mana. Oh, they're Crit is behind, up. if he gets him from the fall. Avalanche is there, and they still find the damage in the end. My wow. goodness. I mean, they're just layering. The game is off. Yeah, Nightfall has the Ags now, so double pounce to go. There's the initiation. Miero nice not hex. able to find the connection. Instead, he gets three shot by Skeeter. Snaking is gonna get stunned by GPK, but the Cleave is doing so much as Nightfall able to use his ult to stay alive. I'm just going to casually brush this off and go with the next wave in all likelihood. Nope, Snaking's back in 20. They are smoking up. Malrain ain't afraid of no That's ghost. A good oh, avatar. big avalanche. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Absolutely crushing Bet Boom as the GG's finally come out. And Falcons, maybe the biggest stomp of the series. I mean, the score doesn't show the whole. God damn. I, I don't even understand what I just watched. Malrain just single single-handedly with one weird pick that I feel like maybe no one else would go for. He just kind of smashed Bet.